all right, I'm not a swimmer. I watch it sometimes during the Olympics. It's kind of exciting to me, right? I know how to swim, but I did not know a swimming cap or a swimming hat was such a big deal as it relates to the athleticism of the swimmer. Um, so swimming hats for Afro hair individuals is now barred from the Olympics as official wear. Uh, because according to these officials, these folks, black people in particular, do not require caps of such size. Uh, it's called a sole cap, all right? Uh, which is a swimming cap designed to accommodate diverse hair types, has been denied by the regulatory body of Olympic swimming. Uh, and you see this graphic, you see the, come on now. How in the world is that going to give anyone an advantage inside of water? Uh, the swimming caps were barred by FINA on the grounds that they're, uh, to their best knowledge, the athletes competing at the international events never use, nor do they require to use uh, caps of such size and configuration. Uh, the committee went on to describe the swim caps as unsuitable due to them not, and I quote, following the natural form of the head. Now, once again, this only applies to black women in particular with a bunch of hair. That, that's who it applies to, okay? Um, here's what the co-founders of Soul Cap said. Co-founders of Soul Cap say they are disappointed in this failure to acknowledge the diversity of competitive swimmers, particularly in a year where we have seen an increase in swimmers from ethnic minority backgrounds qualifying for the Olympics. Now, Soul Cap, brilliant idea, because they're right. You have more people of color swimming than ever before. It continues to go up every year, the number of people participating in this sport. That's a great thing, it diversifies the industry, remarkable. Soul Cap was created in 2017 when the founders started adult swimming lessons for the first time. They met a woman with Afro hair who was struggling with the size of her swim cap. Swim cap. Since then, the brand has provided 40,000 swim caps to swimmers globally. Here's what I really detest about this Olympic rule. It only adversely impacts women of a particular hairstyle. That's it. It's only people it will impact adversely. My dear sister, your thoughts. This is a very clear example of what we would call cultural incompetence mm. because the denial of these swim caps isn't, be, they didn't say anything about um, really how it will impact their performance. That's right. The statement that they said was that, well, our swimmers have never used it before, so why do we need it now? So they're they're hearkening back to the sort of sense of tradition when you've had a a sport that traditionally hasn't had a lot of African Americans. So of course they haven't used swim caps of that size before. And the swimmers, now you're seeing more black swimmers who are entering this field and they're saying actually this is useful for me because our hair for the most part is naturally coily, so it's bulkier. And it is def definitely very difficult to put inside of a swim cap. I remember this from my days when I was required to have swim lessons in college. And so we would have these headaches because <laughs> you had to fit all this hair, wrap your braids up, put it inside a swim cap, and it would actually cause you headaches because it would be so tight around the head. And so this is trying to resolve a problem so that their impact, their performance wouldn't be negatively impacted. It's not that it, it actually gives them an advantage. And if you see black swimmers, black women in particular, when they take their swim caps off, often they have relaxed hair. So essentially they'll have to go through a chemical process when chlorine is already going to damage your hair you have relaxers that damage your hair. And you're saying that this is the only way at the end of the day that they'll actually be able to use the standard swim caps is if they flatten their hair out, hair out through a chemical process. So I really do hope that they listen to the company, that they listen to women of color, specifically black women who are talking about this, because it's really just a matter of ignorance. Yeah, yeah, they need to get it together.